and the pistons move in and out. Well, most calipers are moving calipers. Well, how does that work? Well, the pad actually gets in contact with the inside of the rotor, and then the caliper has to move for the other pad to contact. That's why it's so important to lubricate the slides. Now, there's two types I want to look at. The first one here, this is an actual floating caliper. So if I pull up this pin right here and I pull this out, you can see it floats back and forth on this pin. Well, floating because it has to move. It's a moving caliper. So I take my lube here. You can get this Permatex Ultra Disc Brake Lube. You can put it on here, clean this up with the wire wheel, get all the debris off, and make sure that the caliper's moving, or you may have premature pad wear on one side, or the caliper could even hang up and start pulling to one side. So it has to move. Now this one here, this is a sliding caliper. What does that mean? Same as the moving one, except it's sliding right here. If I push it, you can see it's sliding up and down on the slides, there it goes. These slides right here, they have to be lubricated once again with your ultra brake lube and then wherever the pads have to move has to be lubricated and clean really, really well. It's that fine detail that makes those brakes work properly. Make sure that they're moving, make sure that it's clean. 